And as I walk through the valley, the valley of death, my voice echoes out through the night. Lord, Lord, whatever your reason, don't be the reason why. Hello, YouTube. Just me again, ranting on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know, I, um, <clears throat> everybody always, like, has these fancy, I know it's online people, like, I went online, it was really, it was really nice, it was, um, Festool, it's a part bin like this, see, this is, used to be screws, but, I mean, they have all these fancy, I mean, it's really cool, plastic bin, all these uh, adjustable bins and stuff, and I'm going, you know what, I seen one guy's video online, no word of a lie, it was really beautiful, I have to, like, I even comment in there, like, it's, uh, it's got a really nice shop, but, when uh, you have parts bins that are forty nine dollars each, and you see the guy, and some of them are like a hundred bucks, and have all the fancy compartments you can mix and match, uh, at some point the uh, parts bins become worth more than my garage. So I was thinking, like, you know what? <clears throat> I like making stuff. I mean, everybody loves. I mean, if you're if you're doing a YouTube channel, you're doing stuff. You either like making stuff, or you just do it for work. I mean, one of the two, or you just you know something you do. But, I mean, I just showed you, like, these things are, I don't know, these things kind of suck. All these things never stay. You pull something out, and the little insert comes out. I, I never liked these. And my favorite, these ones I got free were, I don't know if you can see back there. Right there, there's a thing with all the large tray. It's got the parts. I'm not, uh, what's in it doesn't really matter, but this. But I'll show you this bin. I like these ones, because they're metal. They have the plastic insert. In here, mind you, let's see if we can get it out of here. Get it out of the box. It comes out, I know it does. Well, maybe it only comes out on Tuesdays. I don't know. Something like that. But this plastic insert thing, I'll get the goddamn thing out, I'll show you. Well, anyway, I noticed the thing about this box that. You know what? Let's take a magnet this freaking thing. See if I can get it out. Yeah. Come on, man. I just want to show you this thing. Well, anyway, if you look at this box, there's uh, one little bend here. There's a little bendy on the top here. There, I think, is all of what seems to be one, two, three, four, five, six spot welds for the hinge. And basically, it's... I'll show you the box. It's a folded piece of metal. Oh, wait. I didn't show you there. It's... The side's been folded up. This is, has two spot welds. It's got two spot welds on this side. Just folded. And I don't even think there's a lip folded in here. Nope. There's not even a... There's not even a lip folded in to make this structurally stronger. So it's a square box. At its cheapest. And I'm thinking, like, you know what? If I can... I'm always like scrapping old fridges. I'm always scrapping old air conditioners. And there's always big pieces of metal in around. I'm like, if I can get a piece of metal like this big, I'll make a box. If I can find a piece of hinge that I like that doesn't suck, I'd like to make a. I'd like to try to make some of these boxes. Thing is, I don't have a finger break. And I might build one, or I might just make a, a little break out of. Because I mean, you don't need a. You don't need to buy a finger break. I could just. Get a piece of metal and cut it for these. Make one side for this and one side for the other. But my whole point was is these things are like 30, 40 bucks, but everybody's using plastic sorting bins and plastic just breaks down and eventually it's going to fall apart. It might not fall apart in my lifetime, but if you. Um, I read an article by the Smithsonian, all the stuff that went to the moon, like, I don't know, when the hell did they go to the moon? Like 50, 60. 60 some 70 years i don't know it was what like 70s about 30 about 50 years ago all the plastic under the moon's all falling apart like it's it's not going to exist for our grandchildren to see because it's plastic it just falls apart the metal might rust but at least it'll still be if this was well oiled and kept dry it might last 100 years i don't know about this this gauge metal but i keep seeing like you know old filing cabinet just cut the side out and bend it and make a like, even the box back there like, I mean, if you look, I'm not going to zoom in or anything, but the box right here is made just as thin as this one. So I'm thinking, you know what, 
Here, I'll show you this real quick. I'm thinking, since I own one of these, see, since I own this gadget, oh yeah, I have a spot welder. Since I do have a spot welder, I should be able to, you know, get in here and reach some spot. I mean, getting the corners is no problem. Probably, I might be able to get almost to the middle and actually put more spot welds. It won't be perfect. But I'm thinking, like, you know, a little experiment might be to make me feel more at ease because, one, I'm not a big believer in plastic everything, and two, I, I, uh, I got this thing at a good price. It's a, see? Spot, spot. Yeah. Down a mark. Maybe I need some oil. But yeah, I got myself a Chicago Electric spot welder on sale a while back. It uh, it works pretty good. Apparently, I was reading online that the uh, the one, Miller makes these, and they're like I don't know, nine hundred dollars something. Apparently, they're made in the same factory. This one and the expensive name brand ones are made in the same factory in China. So. That makes me question the uh, the only thing I had to do was I had to uh, add one of these plugs to it. I might have to actually make a longer get an extension cord for this because it um, it fits on one plug and one plug only, and that's the plug for my milling machine. <clears throat> but I don't care. I'll just set it up on the milling machine and just use it clink clink, and away you go. So yeah. I have a 240 volt spot welder and I need some parts bins and I'm like and I have a sheet metal bender and I have a pile of sheet metal here <clears throat> the other thing I was thinking of which I'll I'll make another video but I'll show you anyway so I'll tell you in another video <laughs>